Hello and welcome back. Let's get started with another video on circuit designing on Tinkercad. Uh, in this video, we will design an object counter using a seven segment display. Uh, in this, we will require a seven segment display, an LDR, uh, a CD4026 IC, and a 7493 IC. Uh, here, 7493 IC is a 4 bit binary counter, and CD4026 is a decoder which will be connected to 7 segment display uh, let's get started with the circuit design on Tinkercad first we need a breadboard we have got a breadboard on the screen now we need a power supply uh, let's connect the negative and positive terminals to the breadboard and provide a common ground as well we have been doing all this in the previous two videos as well you can access them through our playlist on the channel now we'll get the L, uh, LDR the LDR can be written as a photo register I brought LDR here and Let's prov provide power to it by connecting to the positive side and we need a register here because we cannot directly connect it with the current uh, we need to give some impedance as well so we are providing it with it through the register okay now we need the 7493 IC that is a 4-bit binary counter okay we have got the binary counter this is a clock 1 button reset 1 reset 2 you have to remember that reset 1 and reset 2 both are to be grounded they need to be grounded or you can say they need to be connected with the negative terminal always not connected part and this part must be connected with the positive supply this is the ground ground connected with negative and another important thing to remember is that the clock 1 must be connected with output bit 0 this is very much required in a uh, binary counter you must remember this you can note it down as well that clock 1 will be connected with output bit 0 now we will connect the LDR with clock 0 it will provide the input we are going to provide the input through LDR that input will be converted uh, it, in binary form the binary will be given to CD4026 uh, IC we'll, we are going to see that as well uh, now let's bring CD4511 this is the 7 segment decoder we have, bought, we have bought this here we have the lamp test blanking and latch enable you have to remember that the latch enable is to be connected with negative and the blanking and lamp test is connected with the positive always these are some points which you need to remember ok we have connected it now is the turn for the ground let's connect it to ground as well ground done now these are points now this is the power supply we will connect the power supply as well now we are going to connect the uh, you have to remember that in the 74H39 uh, we have got the output in the form output, output bit 0 1 2 3 but in CD451 we have got we have, we have started with input 1 so here it was from 0 here it is from 1 so we are going to connect 0 with 1 0 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 in this way we are going to connect it so this is 0 connect it with 1 we can change the color so that we can identify them easily this is 2 this is 1 
1 is going to be connected with 2 here is 2 this is 2 Connected. change the color let's take red this is second second is connected to with third let the color be pink anything you can take now is the third third is to be connected with Let's change the color to brown. Okay, we are done with the connection. Now we need the seven segment display. Okay, let's get the seven segment display. We have got the seven segment display. Let's connect it here. Uh, you have to remember a thing that the seven segment display we have got common here. It should be common cathode, not anode. You are going to change this. In second segment display, you have got a common point. You are going to connect this common with common with uh, the ground through a resistor in this way. This is a common we have connected it and change the resistance value to 220 ohm. Now what we need to do is that we have got the like E uh, E point here and on 7 second display we have got from A so this is E. Connect E with E. It's simple to connect. It's very much simple. We have connected E. Now is the turn for. Let's connect. D as well. We have connected D as well. E D is done. This is a common point. Now is the turn for C. This is C. We have connected it with C as well. This is deep in not connected. Uh, now let's connect G. I guess it, this is A. This is Z. Let's connect A first. This is G. This is F. This is A. This is B. This is A. So let's take it here and connect. So they're connected with A. We are at miss out B. Let's connect B as well. We missed B. Connecting B. B is done as well. Okay, now is the turn for G. G is here in the starting only. G done. Now it's turn for F. Connect F as well. So F G, uh, we can also change their color so that we can uniquely identify the connections. It is better to connect. It is better to change the color so that we do not get confused between the connections. If in case we need to correct them or we have. Uh, done some mistake during the connections you can pause and remind the video as well to check the connections okay I'm done with this now let's start the simulation Okay, let's provide input to it. Uh, it's not giving an input. Why is that so? Let's check it. Okay. 
did we miss out something? Maybe we missed out something. Oh, now the issue is rectified. Okay, we are getting the counting on the seven segment display from zero to nine. Let's start the simulation again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, done. Okay, okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. And you can pause the video, rewind it to see the connections again. Uh, the seven, the object counter has got a lot of advantages as well. We use it in. We it has got many applications, and it's very important. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Comment down your thoughts. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.